Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up the vertical planner that I use as my wellness and fitness planner for the week of October 10th through the 16th. I'm using the seasonal uh, floral planner from 2022 from Happy Planner, so it already has some orange on here, which is good. We're gonna white out uh, this week's list. Just like I, I should just go ahead and um, white this out <laughs> on all of the pages to the rest of the year because I always end up whiting it out anyway. But um, the theme I'm going to go with this week is orange from the Chameleon Challenge. Um, I mean, it's October. I have to go with orange, right? I'm feeling like I need self-care stuff this week. So I am filming this on Friday the 30th of September. Um, I'm going to digress a little bit here. My parents are down in a little town called Estero, Florida. It's right near Fort Myers where the eye of the hurricane went. And unfortunately, we haven't heard from them in more than 48 hours. So we're starting. We know the cell phone service is terrible down there. Um, we're trying not, my sisters and I, uh, none of us are near them. Um, and we're trying to, we're trying not to get too worried yet. But um, we just, we... We're starting to <laughs> lose that battle, so I'm feeling like I need a little self-care this week. So I have the um, Kelva Plan Fall Icons book um, because it's got this fun sticker in it. And I thought since I bring normally my, um, my currently words out here, so this is based on the original Happy Planner Wellness and Fitness Planner. I print my own prompts. I will link a video in the cards up above. Um, on uh, how I do that, but basically uh, there are some prompts along the left hand side. Uh, that used to say exercise, now I, I changed it to keto. There's a kind of an open-ended journaling prompt that rotates through depending on whether there are four or five weeks in a month. And then there are these little, um, like I said, currently prompts um, that go down here. So I am going to continue using the prompts that I have printed and cut out through the end of the year. And then I am switching over to printing my own pages using uh, the Baker Lane Studio wellness, um, wellness uh, layout that she has created that is based on uh, my this layout. So it's already got all this stuff kind of printed over here. She does 31 different, the bottom row boxes is always journaling prompts. She does 31 different ones. So I've been doing like Happy Planner did. I've been using the same seven um, journaling prompts every week for literally years. She's got 31. So instead of getting the same prompt on Monday, every Monday, you get 31 prompts. So that I'm so looking forward to having more variety in my prompts after all these years. Um, but I have a link in the description box. If you sign up for her no spam newsletter, you will get a coupon code for 20% off that layout. It also already includes um, eight little hydration drops in that center row of boxes. So that I think is just so awesome. Um, I've also pulled, so these are the, looking at, looking at the page for my color scheme, I've pulled these for my middle row of boxes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. I do, um, food dyer in there. I need, let's see, I need some hydration stickers. So let's go ahead and, oh, and I need, let's see, we need a scale weigh in once a week. So there's some oranges there that'll work. I can use plain hydration stickers, which works, um, or I can use, let's see, there's a yellow, just wanting to match. I have some I printed myself as well. These are a little bit pastel. Um, let's see, any of these. So I, I don't have a video on making these specifically, but I did use Canva to make these. Um, and I do have some videos on my DIY playlist on how to use Canva. So um, it's super easy. I still have the free version. I'm able to do all the stuff you see here using the free version. What about these? That, mer that dark red. So I like to fill in my hydration drops with like mild liners or highlighters. Uh, and so let's just go ahead and use these. Um, so if I use gray ones, which there is gray in this color scheme, um, then I, uh, my highlighters will pop a lot more. So here are all of the boxes in this particular set. 
in the Kel book. So there is some gray in here, which is why these are going to match as well. All right. So uh, we'll just go with plain. Um, I also pulled some Girl Boss Anna overlay tapes. So I've got a really dark kind of maroon burgundy color. I've got um, this kind of grayish brown. I figured I could put on my words and my days of the week. And then an orange and a brown. So just nice fall calming serene color scheme while the stress, stress level is a little bit high. Um, I need to see what days, what, what are my workout? My workout days are going to be Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday this week. So, and I don't think this particular book from Cal of a Plan has small stickers, like single line stickers. Nope. So we'll use overlay tapes for that. All right. So let's get started. Um, I think, let's see. Oh, and I did pull this washi tape. This is just a generic washi tape. I probably got it from Amazon or, um, probably got it from Amazon or, uh, AliExpress. So, but I don't need to cover up the orange down the center. So what I thought I would do since, oh, the last thing I pulled, <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> last thing I pulled is the Kel of a Plan Rainbow Quote Sticker Book. I figured since I was going with Kel of a Plan stickers, I might as well keep with the quotes. So turning to, I like the way she set hers up because she's got a, a whole page in one color. So I can go just directly to the orange page. And then there's another copy of that in black. So um, hopefully we can find a couple stick quotes that speak to me that I can pair with her stickers here. I think the colors will work fine. But uh, that being said, I don't have long strip quotes. So what I thought I would do is put some washi tape across the bottom. This washi tape, I feel like it matches pretty well. It has a little pop of foil. Rather than going clear from edge to edge like I normally do though, I think I want to just kind of put it just let it rip end with a um, messy rip kind of I don't know just randomly most of the way across the page just to add a little point of interest so let's just keep going with that don't pull your washi tape super tight it will cause your page to curl because it does stretch a little bit it's it's pretty much imperceptible but it does stretch and so then when you when you uh, rip it that it'll contract and cause your page to curl. So there we go. I just wanted to add a little bit of color there. Probably don't need it, but all right. Um, let's go ahead and so since I'm going to put that long box over here, I'm struggling just a little bit with where I'm, what I'm going to do as far as covering the words. Let's go ahead and just start with these. So this is an overlay tape from Girl Boss Anna. I am a rep for her through the end of the year. Um, th this it's basically just scotch tape that's printed on, um, like you'd wrap presents with and perforated. But as you can see, they are spaced properly for a classic size vertical planner. You don't have to rip them all you don't have to detach them all. So that's actually really convenient. I think I want to go ahead and I know I want to use that big sticker. So let's just go ahead and start. Let's dive in and start with it. So I'm going to, it takes up a lot of room, but since all the answers to all of these journaling prompts are one word. I figured if I put this here at the edge, I can still squeeze in my one word answers. You know what I mean? So we're just going to put that there. So I didn't actually need to wipe that out. And then since that adds a lot of color, I, I don't think I need to cover these words up because if I do, it's going to be too much, you know? So watching, we just finished the very last episode of The Good Wife. And now we are going to take a little bit of a break and watch some Halloween movies. Um, we started with Jurassic Park. Um, we're watching all of those because we still haven't watched the newest Jurassic Park. And then we're going to go ahead and watch, of course, Hocus Pocus. Feeling, like I just said, <laughs> I'm feeling a little bit stressed. Worried about my family down in uh, Estero, Florida. Listening to the storm coverage, <laughs> every PBS, uh, uh, weather channel, everything I can find that's talking about that. I am watching, uh, reading, I am reading Aurora, 
which is the next book by um, the guy who wrote Cold Storage. It's about a solar flare, a really, really strong solar flare. And then positive word, I'll just write something in, but I'll probably write in something like hope or something. So what I can do is just write kind of part way across here in this blank space, the answers to these, these prompts. So um, it does kind of shorten up the amount of space I have to write what my, the answer to that. So let me see, I don't know if I can, I should have moved this all the way down. Um, I'm not gonna, you know what? I'm just not gonna worry about it. No stress, not gonna worry about it. All right, um, let's go ahead and put one of these over, do I want one of these over keto? I don't think I do. Um, I don't need it. Not with all that brown right there. So let's just put these near, near the top. I could put some orange or something over the bigger prompt. I'm just gonna put this as far up as I can under October. And then what my intuition told me, this doesn't have to be long, right? It can just be, that my parents will be okay, you know? Like I could fit that in there. So, um, sorry, I, I should not be going on and on about that, but um, it's there, it's on my brain. So let's go ahead, let's see what this orange would look like over top of. Since it's too wide, uh, like it too, could cover two lines of text, I think it'll pretty much cover that up, yeah. That's pretty, just a little pop of orange there. Okay, um, so that's good. I'm liking it so far. Should I, let's see. I said Tuesday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, right? So I could put each one of these on here. I've got orange there, so let's put it farthest away. Um, and then this one I can use, let's put one of these here for the scale. Put my scale into that, just weigh in once a week. We all have enough stress in our lives. We don't need to weigh in more than once a week. <laughs> so I think next I'll go ahead and fill in my center section. So what I'm gonna grab my super pointy tweezers. These are for dealing with artificial eyelashes. I just got them off of Amazon. And um, what I'm gonna do is put, uh, what I put in the center section is my food diary. So I do bubbles for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. That That's what works for me. Do what works for you if you decide to do that. And I don't get super specific. I don't do like, I don't go all the way to calorie counts and stuff. It's more just, you know, what I ate. Um, so that, you know, if I wanna look back and try to spot a trend or something, I can. Um, I put a, a, I do workouts every other day. Um, so I put a space in there for like the settings and what the bike tells me the calorie burn was and whatnot. And then I do my hydration stickers at the bottom. So like I said, do work, do what works for you. Make your planner work for you. All right, so then for down here, I have held off because uh, I didn't know if I wanted to use some boxes down here. I think I do. So what I, what I like to do sometimes is put down boxes to write in because I, let's face it, I'm never gonna use all of the stickers I have, so why not? So since it's an orange, I could go, I, there are four boxes, um, orange boxes. Uh, and I think also, yeah, I could use this one too. Although I'm feeling like I wanna stick more towards um, pumpkins than sunflowers. So let's go with the orange boxes. Just to bring more color down and around. So there's, we'll go light orange or light dark, light dark. I could stick a gray in there too, but I'm just not too worried about it. So then all that's left is my top row, which I save for um, decoration and quotes. So if I look at the orange page of quotes, let's see here. One day at a time, one thing at a time. I feel like that definitely fits with my brain right now. Um, let's see, thoughts are not facts. Ooh, that that is a really good one. When you're imagining you don't know, <laughs> um, your thoughts can become factual and it's important to remember they're not. So let's go with, um, I like the arms. I don't know why, I, hopefully that's not, 
morbid, <laughs> but I just, I like, I like the arms, um, with the comforting cup of cocoa. So what if I do thoughts are not facts here and a pair of arms kind of coming in? Let's try that. Again, I just want, I need snuggly, warm, uh, thoughts to help with stress. So comforting. You know what I'm trying to say. Oops. So let's put this here. It's a little bit big, but I, it's, that's why I'm going over here to the edge with it because it can run big and not cause me any problems. And I actually can come right up to the punches. Let's go ahead and go right up to the punches. There we go. And then thoughts are not facts. I'm going to put right in the middle and then let's put something. Can we put something here? The chair, the florals. Mostly going to stick with these two. I like the pumpkins too, although I have a big pile of pumpkins right there. So let's save those for the other side. I could put, I could put the coffee and the mug. I always feel like I want coffee at the beginning of the week. Let's see. Well, okay. So we're going to, since the wax paper is still sitting here, let's, let's pull the quote off. Thoughts are not facts. I'm going to go ahead and grab both quotes while I'm at it so that we can just see how things are going to lay out. So there's thoughts are not facts and one day at a time. Those are good sentiments for me right now. Okay. Both orange. Love it. Let's see. So that actually fits up above the hands a little bit. That should leave me room then for the mug, the mug. And then this is like a little teapot to go with it. I don't know if you guys can see that. Is it off camera? It's not. Okay. Yeah, I like it. That fits. Okay. So let's get this stuff all on there. I think they might be stuck together, but a little bit. So we're just going to put the mug up in the corner. We'll put the teapot under it, kind of under and over a little bit because they go together. And then last but not least, the quote that I can't get off the paper. There we go. There. Oh, I like it. That is just what I need. I like that. Okay, that page is done. Let's come over here. So if I put this one in the middle here, what can we put on either side? I definitely want the pile of blankets, sweaters, whatever that is. I think it's a pile of sweaters. I can't tell. I kind of want, I, I want some, want to see if there's a little pile. Yeah, let's put a little pile of pumpkins over there too. This one's the smallest. Let's put this one on there. Pumpkins are heavy. They need to sit on the floor. Okay. And then I don't know why I like this chair with the stuff sitting on it. I think maybe I want to put that there and then that should be about it. That should about fill it up. Again, putting the tall sticker toward the spine, just in case it doesn't quite fit, it'll, it'll impact me less that way. So feeling like the feet of the chair on the line. Same thing, the pumpkins are heavy. Let's put the pumpkins in the other corner on the, on the ground. And then I know I want to fit the sweaters in. The only question is which side do I want the sweaters on? There are sweaters there. So I kind of feel like maybe you had too many sweaters to fit on the chair. So you started stacking them on the floor beside the chair. So let's put the sweater is actually over here instead of over by the pumpkins. Yeah, I feel like those go together for sure. Okay, and then we'll just squeeze the quote in the middle. Kind of up high. And with that, I believe it's done. I mean, I could, I could squeeze a little something down in here. Like this little flower arrangement. 
Um, it's a little bit on the big side though. Or the backpack. I love the looks of that leather backpack. Let's put something down there. Let's put the backpack down there. I don't know why I want the backpack down there. I used to have a backpack just like that. There we go. It's a little into my journaling space there that last day, but I've been pretty slack slacking a lot on my journaling anyway so <laughs> all right let's put it in my planner it's gonna look a little funky with the glow in the dark green halloween discs but i don't care i like it it is what i need right now so we're going for it so there we go so there is my orange wellness and fitness snuggly uh hopefully helping with stress spread in my wellness and fitness planner. I hope you like this video. I hope it encourages you to do the spreads that you need in the moment. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. It's your planner. Who cares what everybody else thinks? It's, it's for you. So if you do like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.